Dear friends, this is my tutorial 19 in RASP. So in this video you can learn how to make in-core files for DFTU calculation in RASP, especially the single atom catalyst, graphene supported or any other metal oxide supported or MX metal sulfides 2D material supported or 3D material supported single atom catalyst. So you can follow this video. You can uh, able to use uh, DFTU at least for the single atoms, especially the 3D transition metals. Okay. So this is the paper published in Nature Catalysis. So in this paper, uh, they used DFTU parameters for their calculation. So in supplementary table, you can find that uh, table 33, this value in this paper. So this is the 3D transition metal series, scandium to zinc. This is the U minus J value they used for the studies. I also checked in many papers, they I found similar same value only. So that's why I'm going only showing this paper uh, for you. So you can uh, check this paper, you can uh, do your DFTU calculation based on this paper. So now, now I will show you the uh, in-core parameter for DFT calculation for 3D metals. So this is I made it for you. Just open with uh, DF Notepad++. Plus plus. So this is the DFTU parameter for uh, single atom catalyst. So especially 3D metals. So here I mentioned carbon nitrogen scandium. So I assume this is this is this um, DFT parameter will use uh, graphene supported as scandium okay so uh, single atom catalyst you can use first you can uh, use LDAU equal to true then switches on the DFTU calculation then you can uh, use this is a uh, two this is the simplified approach to DFTU this method uh, we, are, we are using always so then LDA UL value so here you can see minus one means no U calculation taking place and one means we have to give the P group transition metal okay then then uh, if uh, two means uh, D block element and three means F block element so we are only have here uh, 3D uh, D block element only that's why we are giving here two value okay then LDA UU value okay here LDA UU value what is that this is that uh, P block element we did not consider so just you put 0 0 and also N 0 0 then third one is scandium this is 2.11 okay so this this uh, line based on your postcard atom arrangement so in postcard you can you, can, you should have that first one is carbon second nitrogen third scandium okay this is the order of arrangement so this is the u effective value actually they already subtracted with the j value then they caught the u effective value okay this is the u effective u effective value that's why they did not mention here uj value here so they default they mentioned 0 0.0 0 0.04 0 0.04 0 .04, all three at okay that's all then you can use lamex mix for for 4d electron 6 for f electron okay so that's all then you can use lda print u if the to print the some matrix occupancy matrix to outcar so if you don't want you can also leave this this one la sph also you can if you want you can uh, give this uh, non spherical contribution so this is uh, up to you my suggestion you can use it that is better okay so this is the uh, things so if you have another metal just a scandium titanium you can change according to the titanium so then if you have zinc you can also change like that okay thank you for watching if you like my content please like subscribe and comment and share and also click the bell icon for my for future updates and also share your friends so thank you thank you for watching thank you so much happy learning